We want you to remember how to play first before you make any kind of critical decisions in the third dimension. Those of you who do not have a very deep connection with your inner child yet, we would say do not make any adult decisions based on what you believe about 5D. Uh, you do not have uh, the... Um, uh, you do not have the driving hours with the inner child. So when your inner child begins to come online or resurrects into your world, you will begin to work with your inner child and, and you will begin to see through the mind of a child and the heart of a child. And it is very different as they do not understand money and they do not understand uh, the past as far as holding on to things. And they want to be in the now moment. They want to play. They want to shine. They want to share. They want to love and they want to experience love. And this is what you came for. And so anything that is not those things is, is not the truth. So, so when it comes down to what is the truth is the only way that you can ever create any sort of karma within yourself here is if you lie to yourself. If you lie to yourself, because you are the only being in the universe, and and so you are playing against yourself, and so these uh, fractals of your uh, alchemy that will channel back to you and tell you you are being irresponsible. This is just a part of your shadow consciousness telling you what you secretly believe. This is telling you where you are still connected to the hive mind slightly, and as you detach and detach and detach and detach, you will begin to think, oh, I forgot about this, and it just disappeared. You see, your your creator will take care of your entire life the more the more you have faith and the less you have doubt the, the more you will be divinely taken care of uh and but, but you cannot have two masters you cannot fear of uh, being incarcerated and uh turn all your debt over to to the to the christ in the safe five minutes because what you will notice is nothing will change you will you will have the debt and you will have no money to pay it and you will still get triggered by it but you will see no resolution forming so you want to pick a side and if you say well this one's a little tricky and i can't untach from the hive mind from this yet we would say well you just don't have enough inner child hours inner child does not think about these things worry about these things or care about these things and you do not have to go through inner child healing and to resurrect your inner child because your inner child just needs a different playmate your inner child just wants to play with the higher self and as soon as you give the higher self to your inner child you will never have to do another healing session again it is just changing your focus it is changing from the unconscious and subconscious to the super conscious and to no choice to all choice to uh this is well this is my circumstances to infinite potential am i looking what is left or if i'm looking what's right and if I look what's right, well, then I'm looking into the super consciousness. And if I look into the super consciousness, then, then all things are possible. Uh, I could wake up tomorrow and the entire system could crash and no one would ever know about my dad. If I could have that idea. I could think of 10 different magical possibilities. Or I could think about five reasons I could get in trouble. What feels better to me? What feels better to me? Is it that I am a bad person because I cannot pay off this debt? Or am I, whoops, you know what? I'm a child and I turn this over and... And uh, I create magical experiences where I either resolve it, pay it off, or I erase it. And, and this is, I am complete. As Buddha says, begin again. If you begin again, there is no yesterday. There is no five minutes ago. You are not held accountable by spirit uh, through what you did yesterday. Only it is you who hold yourself accountable to yesterday. And because you hold yourself accountable to yesterday, well, then you must experience yesterday again and again. Those of you who are experiencing Groundhog now, right now, as we can look into your fields and we see many of you in a Groundhog experience, which means there are certain situations that are just not budging. Uh, you, are, you are affirming and you are meditating and you are working diligently in certain areas. And it's in those areas that nothing is moving. And we would say it is because you are being too much of an adult. You want to lighten up and, and say, how can I make a game of this? As the channel, her uh, theme is prosperity. And so, of course, her greatest fear is poverty. And so when we said that you need to make friends with poverty and play with poverty, it changed her world. Well, how can I play with poverty? She said, well, I don't know. How can you? Well, I don't know how to play with poverty. Well, yes, you do because you've lived it. What, how can I play with poverty? Well, what, what have I learned from poverty? Well, I have learned to get, I have learned to be creative. I have learned to, to be resourceful. I have learned to repurpose things. I have learned to create things out of nothing. Oh wait, oh wait, poverty is my friend. 
I don't, I don't mind poverty. Hello, poverty, you are my friend. And guess what? As soon as you make friends with your own opposition and you see how much it has taught you and how much courage it has given you and how much allowance to stretch your own abilities to shine, you realize, oh, thank you, poverty. Now, now that I move into prosperity, I am resourceful. I am, I know how to repurpose things. I am using things in different ways. I am, I am looking at restructuring things and I am showing other people how to restructure things. I am showing other people how to turn poverty into prosperity now. And look at me. I am actually in my theme now because your theme is also to know your opposite theme. You see, if you were a, a, a 25 cent coin, you would have a head and a tail, which means you would be poverty and prosperity. And so until you have been both and accepted both and loved both and used both, you will not truly ascend to the next level. And so if you would say, okay, well, the old version of, of the channel, uh, was uh, uh, living in poverty, although they never felt poverty. They they always felt uh, quite um, extra in who they were. They always felt kind of flamboyant, even though they they both felt poverty in their in their realities. And it is because poverty was a great tool to learn how to be more resourceful. Because if you were in total opulence and abundance your whole life, you would be bored. And so you like to experience the opposite to download the contrast. And then this really allows you to move into such a great state of gratitude when it comes to prosperity that you will never again deny yourself and so if you can make friends with poverty if you can make friends with with this idea and say thank you for teaching me so much i will not be afraid of you anymore i've actually learned so much from you and we can play on this playground anytime together because i know this is just a moment in time and i can begin again and if i have a, a poverty moment or a poverty thought or a poverty day well then that is the day that i will find something to repurpose or that is the day well i will find something to reinvent when I have nothing because I am an alchemist and I am here to turn all lead into gold. Uh, not yeah. all of you have the theme of prosperity, but you get the idea. So let us yeah. say that your theme of someone else's theme was freedom. So we could say, okay, well, freedom, then you're going to have to make friends with being trapped. Ooh, that sounds scary. We are all trapped. That's easy. You know how to be trapped. How do you be resourceful? How, how do you become untrapped? You make friends with it. So in order to master something in the 3D, you become besties, you become friends. Because the thing is, is only it is resistance that keeps the solution away. It is only the resistance of being judged by that which you are not uh, that makes you uh, be a, a vibrational match to poverty. So, so when, you're, uh, when your theme is freedom, you are going to find yourself trapped quite often. And you are going to see that your own ego likes to get you trapped through excitement, through obligation, through commitment. We call it the golden cage. And so you'll say, how did I get myself trapped again? How did I get into this commitment? Where did I get this loan from? Where did I get this debt from? Where did I get this agreement from? And you will, head will spin because your theme is freedom. And so you are like, a, you are like a magician who says, oh, I'm going to lock myself into this box. And so I can show you how I get out. See, this is all you are doing. You forgot that it was a game. You forgot that you were here to play. And if your inner child was online, she would say, poverty, we can play with poverty. We have so much to share with her. We have so much to share with him. Oh, we can play with trapped. I am free. I will I will show him how to be free. I will demonstrate my freedom while he is trapped and then he will remember or she will remember how to be free. And so if you would all turn in the direction of your greatest fear and fall madly in love with what it has taught you, what it has given you and what it has allowed you to be within your own being, you would fall madly in love with all aspects of yourself and this Groundhog Day you are experiencing would shift very quickly and so we hope that this is answering some of your questions especially if you are having the groundhog day experience and and again if you are in this groundhog day experience this is probably where you have bottlenecked in incarnations where you have maxed out your potential and we hope that in this incarnation that you take this cue to go all the way because you are here to play in the worst place of hell in the darkest storm in the muddiest rain you are here to play with no money you are here to play with all money and until you have had both experiences you will not be satisfied because you really enjoy food more when you are hungry you really enjoy sleep more when you are tired so allow this to be your moment of oh I'm getting myself so tired I cannot wait to sleep this would be your prosperity so you play a game and you say I am going to practice my prosperity and I am going to love the poverty and when I am in the poverty moments I am going to have all of the different experiences of prosperity in the poverty 
poverty? How do I have poverty? How do I have prosperity in poverty? Oh, this is where I get resourceful. This is where I get creative. This is where I get helpful. This is where I get generous. This is where I get become giving and grateful because I am prosperity. I am freedom. And so I can do all the things even in the absence of things because I am God.